Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week, we are talking about how to use the restroom in a wedding dress. Before we dive into this topic, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. Let me know if there's any specific topic or video you'd like me to create for you. I am here for you, guiding you along the way leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer. I wear so many various hats at Lavella Bridal, located in Los Angeles, California. I am completely and utterly obsessed with dressing women in the most important article of clothing they will ever wear. For daily content, please be sure to follow at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert on Instagram. Believe it or not, this has been such a highly requested video on how to use the restroom with your wedding dress on. Naturally, the style and silhouette shape of your gown is going to determine your options on how you may be able to use the restroom on wedding day. However, in my experience, there is one recommendation I have for you that seems to work the best. Traditionally, when you think of a woman using the bathroom on wedding day, you envision all the bridesmaids picking up the dress, lifting it up, hovering over the toilet to allow the bride to use the restroom. That is not my recommendation. For those of you that are wearing fitted gowns on wedding day, having people lift up the gown for you, for you to use the restroom isn't realistic. This recommendation that I'm going to make works for anyone who is wearing any style of gown and is the way to go. When you need to use the restroom on wedding day, I highly recommend that this is an opportunity for you to actually take the wedding dress off. I recommend unzipping the gown, stepping out of it, enjoying your moment of peace with the dress off. It's actually a really nice moment of relief and comfort to just sit without your wedding dress on. And then you can get back in your gown. And what this actually does is it actually allows the gown to realign on your body. Bridal gowns are an article of clothing. They stretch and they give through your body heat and your bloating or expansion throughout the day. So the gown actually expands along with your body. That being said, sometimes you feel your dress slowly starting to slip on you, especially if it's strapless and you don't have anything to support with a strap or an off the shoulder or anything like that. So it's a two part thing that I like to do is I like to give my brides a moment of relief to be able to use the restroom comfortably, take the gown off, have a breather for a moment, get back in the dress, and that way we rezip you in it and realign it. A few things that can get a little tricky here that I'd like to put in your mind is that zippers can break really, really easily. So please be sure that you have two people who know how to use a zipper properly and that way they don't break the zipper while doing this. Another thing to consider that if you are in a laced up dress that you are going to want to allow more time. Now, if it's a lace up gown and a ball gown, I do recommend having everybody lift up the dress and using the restroom that way. It's a little more complicated with a corset to take off and put back on. But if you're in a fitted dress, there's really no way for you to lift it up. You're going to have to take it off and put it back on. Using the restroom should really be simple and this is a universal way to use it and it just seems to be a little bit more comfortable and functional and you don't have to worry about tons of people going to the restroom with you or a piece of the dress falling into the toilet and getting wet. Not ideal. This seems to work best. You just want to be extra, extra careful when you are re-zipping up that dress to make sure that all the teeth and everything aligns beautifully and no malfunctions happen. Always have a sewing kit handy and safety pins just in case because you never know. I hope that you found this video helpful. For more videos and tips like this, please be sure to tune in every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will see you in next week's video.